what is effective nuclear charge well to understand effective nuclear charge we have to understand the tug of war of an electron here this electron experiences two forces one man is exerting 10 newton force on the electron in this direction while another man is exerting 7 newton force on the electron in this direction let me ask you what about the net force or the total force on the electron well the total force or the net force is 3 newton on the electron in this direction now consider this atom inside the atom this electron experiences two forces nuclear force and shielding effect remember that shielding effect is the inner repulsion between these two electrons i mean these two electrons have the same negative charges so they both repel each other now this electron experiences 10 newton force of the nucleus in this direction which is also known as nuclear force on the other hand this electron is experiences repulsive force of 7 newton in this direction which is also known as shielding effect now let me ask you what about the net force well the net force is 3 newton on this electron in this direction this net 3 newton force is known as effective nuclear charge let me repeat it this net 3 newton force is known as effective nuclear charge therefore we define effective nuclear charge as the net positive force experienced by an electron inside an atom is called effective nuclear charge let me repeat it the net positive force experienced by an electron inside an atom is called effective nuclear charge here let me ask you why we call it effective nuclear charge the answer is simple it is because the net force is affected by the shielding effect for example this electron experiences nuclear force of 10 newton in this direction while at the same time this electron experiences shielding effect of 7 newton force in this direction so the net force is also affected by the shielding effect that's why we call it effective nuclear charge the formula of effective nuclear charge is z effective is equal to z minus s here z stands for number of protons and s stands for number of inner electrons this noted down that effective nuclear charge is the net positive charge experienced by an electron inside an atom now how we calculate effective nuclear charge well what is the effective nuclear charge for an electron and the n is equal to 3 shell in sodium atom consider sodium atom we know that effective nuclear charge is equal to z minus s where z is the number of protons and s is the number of inner electrons we know that the atomic number of sodium is 11 this is the first shell this is the second shell and this is the third shell according to the question we have to find the effective nuclear charge for this electron so all the electrons below this shell are considered inner electrons let me repeat it all the electrons below this shell are considered inner electrons let me count them 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so there are total 10 inner electrons present in this sodium atom thus s is equal to 10 now we know that effective nuclear charge is equal to 11 minus 10 so the effective nuclear charge for this electron is 1 thus noted down this example secondly what is the effective nuclear charge for an electron in the n is equal to 2 shell in chlorine atom well let me teach you easy way to calculate these types of questions we know that the atomic number of chlorine is equal to 17 now the first shell n is equal to 1 accommodate two electrons the second shell n is equal to 2 accommodate eight electrons and the third shell n is equal to 3 accommodate seven electrons 
So 2 plus 8 plus 7 is equal to 17. So we have configured all the electrons of chlorine in their respective shells. According to the question, the electrons below N is equal to 2 shell are considered inner electrons. So there are only 2 electrons and shell N is equal to 1. So there are 2 inner electrons. We know that effective nuclear charge is equal to 17 minus 2. I get 15. So the effective nuclear charge for this electron is 15. Thus note it down this example. Lastly, let me teach you the periodic trends of effective nuclear charge. Why effective nuclear charge increases across the periods? Secondly, why effective nuclear charge decreases down the groups? Well, effective nuclear charge increases from left to right across the period because the number of shells remains constant and the atomic number increases from left to right across the period. So we say that effective nuclear charge increases from left to right across the periods. Secondly, effective nuclear charge decreases down the groups because the number of shells increases. Due to this, shielding effect increases. Although, atomic number increases down the group, but increased number of shells dominate the increased number of protons. Therefore, we say that effective nuclear charge decreases down the groups. Finally, let me teach you one bonus question. What is the difference between nuclear charge and effective nuclear charge? Well, the total positive charge of all protons in a nucleus of an atom is called nuclear charge. On the other hand, nuclear charge experienced by the outermost electrons is called effective nuclear charge. So this is the main difference between nuclear charge and effective nuclear charge. I hope that you have learned all about effective nuclear charge.